Genesis 11, the Tower of Babel. At one time, all the people of the world spoke the same language and used the same words as the people migrate to the east. They found a plain in the land of Babylonia and settled there. They began saying to other each other, Let's make bricks and harden them with fire. In this region, bricks were used instead of a stone, and tar was used for mortar. Then they said, Come, let's build a great city for ourselves with a tower that reaches into the sky. This will make us famous and keep us from being scattered all over the world. But the Lord came down to look at the city and the tower the people were building. Look, he said, the people are united and they all speak the same language. After this, nothing they said out to do will be impossible for them. Come, let's go down and confuse the people with different languages. They, they, then they want to be able to understand each other. In that way, the Lord scattered them all over the world and they stopped building the city. This is why the city was called Babel, because that is where the Lord confused the people with different languages. In this way, He scattered them all over the world. The line of descent from Shem to Abraham. This is the account of Shem's family. Two years after the great a great flood. When Shem was 100 years old, he became the father of Arpaxid, Arpaxad. Uh, after the birth of Arpaxad, Shem lived another 500 years and had other sons and daughters. When Arpaxad was 35 years old, he became the father of Shala. After the birth of Shala, Arphaxad lived another 403 years and had other sons and daughters. When Shala was 30 years old, he became the father of Eber. After the birth of Eber, Shala lived another 403 years and had other sons and daughters. When Eber was 34 years old, he became the father of Pelak. After the birth of Pelak, Eber lived another 430 years and had other sons and daughters. When Pelak was 30 years old, he became the father of Reel. After the birth of Reel, Pelag lived another 209 years and had other sons and daughters. When Ru was 32 years old, he became the father of Serug. After birth of Serug, Ru lived another 207 years and had other sons and daughters. When Sebruk was 30 years old, he became the father of Nahor. After the birth of Nahor, Sebruk lived another 200 years and had other sons and daughters. When Nahor was 29 years old, he became the father of Terah. After the birth of Terah, Nahor lived another uh, 119 years and had other sons and daughters. After 
Harold was 70 years old. He became the father of Abram, Nahor, and Haran. The family of Terah. This is the account of Terah's family. Terah was the father of Abram, Nahor, and Haran. And Haran was the father of Lot. But Haran died in all of the uh, Chaldeans, Chaldeans, the land of his birth, uh, while his father Terah was still living. Meanwhile, Abram and Nahor both married. The name of Abram's wife was Sarah, and the name of Nahor's wife was uh, Milcah. Milcah and her sister Ika were uh, daughters of Nahor's brother uh, Haran. But Sarah was unable to become pregnant and had no children. One day, Terah took his son Abram, his um, daughter-in-law Sarah, his son Abram's wife, and his grandson Lot, his son Haran's child, and moved away from Ur of the uh, Child uh, Chaldeans. He was headed uh, for the land of Canaan, but they stopped at Haran and settled there. Terah lived for um, 205 years and died while still in Haran.